Hi, we are the Sheets family, and we are a missionary family here in Peterhead, Scotland. It's My name is JR. I'm Daisha. I'm Gideon. Naomi. <laughs> okay, so we're going to answer just a few questions real quick for you so you can get to know us a little bit better and about the work. So for the first question, why did you all decide to go to Scotland? I'll let Daisha answer some of that. Well, when I was 19, the summer after my freshman year of college, I came on a mission trip to Peterhead, Scotland. We actually went to three different places here in Scotland, Peterhead, Bucky, and Stirling. <clears throat> the first two weeks, I was here in Peterhead with a family called Billy and Fenella Strachan. Billy was a fisherman, but God was calling him to leave fishing for fish and to come fish for men. So I heard their heart for their indigenous Scottish people and their, their heart for the, the missing family demographic that is not really present in the churches here. And it opened, opened my eyes to the same situation all over Scotland. And what I saw was that the churches here don't have families. They have grandparents and great-grandparents, and sometimes those grandparents and great-grandparents bring their grandkids and great-grandkids along but there aren't a lot of families that come to church. And so God really put it on my heart that family ministry is what was needed here in Scotland. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> so um, that's why Scotland. <laughs> so that was 15 years ago. And then, as you all know, about two years ago now, we moved here uh, to start the work. Um, <clears throat> what are some of the daily things that you do? Uh, myself, I usually, uh, my days are filled with, you know, meeting with a fellow worker here, uh, Billy, um, and I do a lot of reading and writing, uh, preparing for my various lessons throughout the week. Um, Tuesday nights, like tonight, um, we like to have unbelievers over uh, for the unbeliever Bible study in our home. Um, let's see, I uh, Wednesday nights. Uh, after teaching, uh, I also play football, soccer, uh, out on the town with, with some others, and that's a really good time. Um, so yeah, it's basically consumed with lessons and teaching and um, being in and around the town, uh, usually also downtown at the coffee shop, uh, where I'm able to meet with uh, quite a few people um, for whatever reason, whether it's study or counseling or just building relationships with others. How about you, Naomi? What are some things you like doing during the day? What day? Any Today. day. Any day. Um, playing football <laughs> at church. And what else? Skipping. Skipping? And jump rope. Jump rope. <laughs> How about you, Gideon? Uh, <coughs> play Legos. Uh, sometimes go to my friend Robert's house. Um, video games, football, soccer. That's basically what I do besides sleeping. <laughs> and like... school. And school. And school. Um. I am currently homeschooling the kids, so we do school, and we do do school. Do-do. I do. I said do-do. Um, I, I help with the ladies' Bible class at church. I teach on Wednesday nights uh, a class of my, the age range is 10 to 14-year-olds. Um, I, I work discipling the 20-something the women. Um, that are part of our congregation and through Gideon and Naomi and their friends I get to meet more people um, around our age in the community other moms and dads and we're building relationships with them and friendships with them um, having them into our home for meals and talking with them at the football games and so um, another question was how do you disciple uh, while you're there. Um, one of the ways is uh, intentional and pretty rigorous 
study, um, and that is of the scriptures. And along with that is the, we always want to apply it to how it is to follow Jesus <clears throat> every day. You know, we're not just Sunday Christians, we're not just Wednesday Christians or whatever. We are seven days a week followers of Jesus. So we always are trying to teach and, and, and talk with uh, the young Christians and even the non-believers uh, who we're with about what it is to be a disciple of Jesus, to follow Christ every day of your life. And so we apply the scriptures to that reality because scriptures are in and of themselves relevant. And so um, we apply it to our daily lives like that. Also, um, getting some of the young men and uh, opportunities to serve. Uh, Including Gideon, who got to read. Yeah, and worship. That's, you know, in teaching and, and leading us at the Lord's table and those kinds of things that um, particularly the non-believers, um, you know, have no, <laughs> no um, history or even knowledge of, of how those things are done. So allowing them to serve in those ways and, and trying to empower uh, both boys and girls, men and women, uh, to use their talents that God has given them for the service in the name of Christ. Um, for example, one of the, she, she's still a non-believer now, but, uh, she, she's coming to our studies, you know, she, it was her inspiration to start some kind of, um, homeless, uh, ministry, pretty similar to kind of what Fairfax is doing, uh, in DC with your least of these, um, ministry. And so I think we're going to be getting that going here actually in the next few weeks, uh, now that it's winter months, uh, just to see what kind of opportunities are available in the city of Aberdeen. Uh, to do those things. So it's it's numerous ways. It, it's, it's about following Christ daily, and it's about serving uh, for his glory and um, giving people opportunities to do that. And it's not just following God in the big things, like going and being a missionary. It's following God in the little decisions and details of your day. Are you going to put yourself first? Are you going to put others first? Are you going to do things your way, or are you going to follow Jesus in the little things as well as the big things? Yeah. So, uh, last thing, any other facts about us so that you can learn more about us? Well, we're, we're pretty <laughs> weird. We can be. <laughs> <coughs> okay, enough. Anything, G? May the Lord be with you, always. Yes. That was funny. Anyway. Maybe we do. Well, yes. I think this might have gone yes. Yes. a bit longer than we were planning. But I hope it help I hope it's helpful. And uh, we love you guys and we we do thank you for your support and we ask for your prayers. Um, Satan is alive and active in these places and um, we are in constant warfare here. Um, in our community and in the church we are um, trying to work with so uh, just like you are you're in you're in warfare too in, in your schools and in your uh, you know the places where you live so you know we're all under battle so just pray for our strength and that uh, the Lord will uh, provide um, victory in, in, in these battles that we have so thank you and Live long and prosper. <laughs> no. Star Trek and Star Wars? Maybe we're nerdy. Maybe we'll okay, be Bye. Bye. I was